So I hope everyone's okay on this video. It's uh, spring clean time and a bit of a task. It's Good Friday. It's going to be a beautiful weekend as you can see. The grass is long. I've not cut it for a while. I've been busy doing my bathroom. And um, yeah, it's time. I've got a couple of hours to get the pond sorted, to get one task taken off this weekend. And just to run you through, what I would say is I've got prepared already. I've already took this edging bit off, the cover at the end. So basically you're undoing what you did coming you into prep. So uh, for me, that is take off that cover, which I wanted a, cl a clear cover so I can still interact with the koi over winter, which has worked great. Cause I can just whip that glass off and feed them and do what I want to do. Been really game changing because I'm not losing them to nothing. Um, so what I've done, I've took that off. In fact, I was going to record that, but I moved something and it collapsed as it does sometimes. So if you ever sort of go around and buy koi and that, if you ever get on a plastic tank like this, domestic storage tank, I would advise you to grab it because it's coming really handy. So what I'm going to do this year is I've got my nets that the balls go into, but what I'm going to do is first put them into here, give them a bit of a hose down, then put them in here and then give them another rose down and then hang them up to dry, ready for autumn. Here's the other stuff that I've used for my little section. I've already hosed that down, cleaned it off so that'll go behind my cabin. So, got my hoover out. So once I get the balls off, there'll be a lot of detritus and stuff like that and leaves. I cleaned the pond skimmer out yesterday and there was actually a newt in there. Um, and I tried to grab the skimmer out, the basket out and actually the, the newt had gone. I don't know where, so I don't know if I'm going to find it in the top of my shower or what, but I disconnected my pump, couldn't find it in there. But anyway, that's another story. As you can see, the ears on, it's pushed all the balls this way. Um, and then I'll get my pond over out once all the balls are away. I've done some pre prep by hoovering, um, sorry, sweeping the leaves out of the way so they're not going to fall in the pond as I'm doing stuff, making more dirt as I'm going along. So I'm going to get the net, scoop them out into there, wash, bag, scoop, wash, bag. And then at the end, Hoover, the slub muncher is coming out. Uh, I'm going to give the, if I get it, well, I will get a chance today, um, pull off all the dead leaves and stuff because I've left it too late. I said in some previous videos, it's too late now because actually I think looking at it there, the sedge has got the flowers on it, which have looked really good actually. So I'm stuck there. So I'm just going to pull all the dead leaves off. And then the slub muncher will come out I'll turn the um, plant filter off, get all the muck off the bottom because there'll be some silt in there, give that a good clean, get the green algae off and the green algae out of there, give the pond a scoop and over with a hoover, probably leave it for the day. Um, the fish will love that, getting, getting all the dryness and muck, they love all that type of stuff. I can see them already in this gap, which is really nice to see them again. It really is lovely to get this year. It's really come round this year. I think it's come round really quick. When you're putting winter prep on, it's a bit of a depressing time actually, because you just start to think, God, I've got months of this and it's gone round really quick. And here we are already, absolutely fantastic. Um, so, less me ramblings and I better get to work. So let me get started. heavy and I try and not let the water drip in there now because it's if I've not shown you these before there's a four inch balls they're not the two inch balls these aren't the balls these are the half and half so in the bottom there's a hole there's three holes so water can go in the bottom and half of the ball sinks that's why you get an algae mark so what I found is the only negative I've found is if you're not careful and you mess about them too much when you're getting them out 
they'll disturb the water which is a bit algae and a bit bit dirty for a bit so it makes your water a bit dirty that's why you're best just to so half air half balls and like i say just best to try and get them out as quick as you can and uh and give them the hose off or you could even bag last year i bagged them straight up in the bag and then wash them in the bag and then come autumn they dried off and all the algae stuff just died and dropped off anyway flaked off um so i might be doing myself actual more work here but i can get them out of the pond quicker because what i was doing last time was doing this and then trying to get hook them straight into the actual nets <laughs> which as you can imagine is not that easy so i will just keep doing this and just keep it up trying not to sort of overdo it and knack them in it you only take something like say half an hour preparation when I'm first doing it in autumn to and then it'll take me about half an hour an hour to get them off get them washed and clean my dog my Westie Summer is behind you drying off because I found a jar of water where I made some nettle fertiliser in and the remnants are in the jar so I threw it on around the plant she sniffed it and gone and you can know what dogs are like and I was really angry I've got to admit so she's had a cold hose down to clean off and she's in the sun now drying off Keep going, nearly full. I think I'm gonna have to bail out at this point, I think. Before I cause too much work for myself. Yeah, and I can see now the the muck this has been disturbed, so the pond will be a complete shit heap for a bit. And then um have got to do and I'd recommend to people when you're setting up your pond once you're setting up your pond think about water so I've got a water supply here to trickle in and I've put a U a U-shaped connector on it and I've actually got my own water supply in here now so I can just get a nose out and do what I want that said I've just noticed I'm not checked it and it's got a split in it. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay, but we'll see. So I can imagine from where you are, the pond looks quite clean. But I can assure you. Most definitely not. Just because you're shouting summer does not mean that you're going to get out off your lead. Not a chance. If anyone is thinking about having a dog, by the way, think along and odd. As much as I love my dog, they do sometimes piss in your house. Rolling dog shit, piss you right off, and get on your tits. And restrict what you need to do, and restrict going out and going on holidays and stuff. most of the surface muck up if you've got one. I dread to think what you do if you haven't got one. It's a, 
I think uh, a skimmer is great to have. Bottom. I might have a few stones trying to wedge. I won't do the grass today now, do that tomorrow, let it dry out. Wow. Back round the pond. Happy days, happy days. And then just have a Sweet round with a full end now, do into the corners. Have a bit of a skim off the top of the pond in a minute. Good job, the garden. And the weed in. Been tweaking with the pond at the in me grow on pond, so I've gone update with that again. I've messed about with the uh, level of the nexus. I've actually raised it. Let me come up off here now. I'm doing with that today. There we go. I'm happy with that. Oof, well that's it for now. I'm going to tidy all this up. Tidy all the uh, muck up. Next time you see the update, hopefully all the grass will be cut, all the muck will be away, everything will be running and settling down. Happy days. Enjoy your ponding. How's your spring clean going? Do you used to do something similar? Um, yeah, time for a break. Time for a break now, football, couple of beers, come back in here after about two o'clock in the afternoon because it's early for kick off today, Forest v Luton or Luton v Forest and then have a good tidy up. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, see you on the next one.